Let us demonstrate the application of solid effects in analyzing VX widgets, a well-known open source class library. VX widgets contain several hundreds of classes, spanning hundreds of thousands of lines of code, and includes both Windows, Linux, and Mac OS specific code. First, we load a solid effects project containing the source files to be analyzed. The highlighted window at the left shows the directory structure of the analyzed code base. Double clicking on a file opens a viewer showing a source code. Brushing with the mouse over the text shows the various types of code constructs found by the analysis. We can also zoom out the code view to see files containing thousands of lines of code. The use of this type of view will be demonstrated later in this video. The right window shows the header files included by the source file displayed in the code view. Both user and system headers are analyzed by SolidFX thereby providing complete information on the software source code. Header files can be navigated and displayed much in the same way as the source files are. Analysis operations are carried out in SolidFX by means of selections. These are fragments of code which share some common properties. The highlighted view at the right shows all the existing selections in the system. Initially, these are the source files themselves. However, we shall see how we can create custom selections using queries. Let us now select the entire project. The view highlighted at the bottom is the selection monitor. This shows details on all code constructs in the selection, such as the type of the construct, the file and location file where they occur, and also code metrics computing on these constructs. The current view contains details on all the files in the project. The table column under the mouse shows the lines of code metric. Clicking on column label sorts the table in increasing or decreasing order of a metric. We see, for example, that there is one file being considerably larger than the remainder of this project. Clicking on the respective table row opens a code view that lets us examine that file. Let us now demonstrate the queries mechanism. For this, we select one of the files in the selection view. The highlighted view at the bottom shows the code queries available in SolidFX. These are organized into several functional categories, such as lexical, preprocessor, scoping, safety, and compiler error queries. New queries can be written in XML, allowing users to easily extend and customize the provided analysis in specific ways. Let us now demonstrate the usage of queries. For this, we select a simple query that finds all function definitions in the code base, including class methods, constructors and destructors, and operators. Clicking the Query button applies the query on the current selection. The query results, in this case function bodies, are highlighted in the code view. Also, a new selection containing the query result in this case 5032 functions, is added to the selection view. We can now browse the query results in the current code view, zoom out for a better overview, or open other views to see the functions found in other files. Besides queries, SolidFX provides also a comprehensive collection of code metrics, these can be applied on existing code selections, much like the queries. For example, let us compute the cyclomatic complexity of the function definitions in our code. For this, we select the complexity metric and apply it on the function definition selections already computed. The computed metric is added as a new column in the selection monitor view. Sorting the functions on this metric lets us find out that there is an outlier highly complex function with more than 14 branching points. Double-clicking on the respective table row brings us to the code in this function. If desired, we can now zoom in the code view to examine the actual code text of this function in more detail.
We can refine our code complexity analysis using several other code metrics. For example, let us compute the number of command lines and number of typecasts contained in the function definitions of our codebase. We do this easily by selecting the respective metrics and applying them on our selection of function definitions. The newly computed metrics are added to the table in the Selection Monitor view. We now enlarge this view to see more detail. Clicking on the Complexity Metric column label sorts the table in decreasing complexity of the functions. We see now that the most complex method at the top of the table is also the one having the most typecasts, 9 in total, as indicated by the red bar in the typecast column. However, this function has only 15 comment lines out of a total of 169 code lines. All these metrics indicate a highly complex and potentially hard to maintain function. We can double click on the function entry to examine the source code. Let us now perform a code smell analysis. Code smells are occurrences of particular code patterns which indicate potential problems or anomalies in the source code. We select now the entire project and search for ifs without body. The presence of such constructs is highly unlikely in well-written code. We find 42 such constructs in our entire codebase. To examine their location, we open the selection monitor and sort the entries on the file names where these constructs occur. Scrolling the table, we see now only two different files, which indicates a localized use of these suspect constructs. We can see this better by zooming out the table view. In this mode, the actual table, text entries, are replaced by color bar graphs which indicate the underlying values. The file name column shows two different color blocks which corresponds to exactly two different files. We can now zoom the table view back in and double click on one of the identified code smells to examine the actual text. In the code view, we see an if whose body is delimited by an ifdef preprocessor construct which is only active in debug mode. This, together with the localized occurrence of the code smells, shows us that the code base is safe with respect to this smell. SolidFX provides many more features and analysis for the assessment of code quality, reverse engineering code bases, creating UML diagrams from source code, and understanding large software projects. SolidFX is part of a larger family of tools provided by SolidSource for managing, understanding, and improving the quality of large software projects. Thank you for following this video and for your interest in the SolidSource product family.